Don't forget the raisin bran. It's good for you. Yeah. Keeps you moving. Whatever that means. Maybe I just got what that means. Cognitive skills are slow today. Grab some cornflakes. Nietzsche and Wittgenstein went ape guano over cornflakes. So they make you smart, German, and depressed. Why do they have so much wheat Chex? It doesn't go with anything. Wheat Chex is sort of the pumpernickel bread of the cereal world. Well put. So what combo are you thinking today? Captain Crunch over a foundation of Rice Krispies with a perimeter of shredded wheat. It's bold. I like its prospects. I love cereal. It rocks. Mm. So you never told me who the guy was. The guy? The guy you were dying for a message from? The guy who was you yoked to your cell phone? I am not yoked to my cell phone. I can't hear it when it's in my pocket. Oh, God. Tell me it's not Huntsberger. What if it is? With the hair and the chin like he's a fourth BG? You know, I can put the phone away if it's bothering you. Don't. That pathetic boat you're in? I'm first oarsman. How so? I'm waiting for Doyle to call. I expected to call yesterday to set something up for last night, but it never came. So I ate a family-sized bag of salt and vinegar potato chips and went to bed at 7.30. That was the smell. We're better than this, you and me. We're the children of Emma Goldman and Hillary Clinton. Strong, independent, we're better than this. Apparently not. I blame Shilton. Great education, but horrific socialization. We need guidance. I'm not calling Loveline. Rory, come on. We're sitting in a sea of expertise in this field. A college campus. There's no end of knock-headed bimbos with tons of draws to dispense. There's two now. Paris, don't. Althea, Janet, come here. You hate Althea and Janet. Granted, they know nothing of Ukrainian politics or the periodic table, but when it comes to boys, they're brighter than the Brontes. What, Paris? Hey, Janet, hey, Althea. Girls, we have related problems, a little love trouble. Can we bend your ears? Uh, sure. No, Althea, please, go, enjoy your Sunday. There's no love trouble here. I don't mind. I do. Fine, then I'll just lay out my situation. Great, good, because I'm out of this. Okay, so I've got a guy. Blind? Can it. The last time I saw him, he strongly implied that he was going to call me, and soon. It's been four days. Did you ever call him to hook up? He's always taking the reins. What did he say exactly? Call you later or see you later? Call. Or was it see? Very different. Call's more descriptive. If he said call you later and didn't, it's an egregious screw you. Pretty sure it was C. And I think you could cut him some slack. You like him, right? Yeah. Then call him, but have a reason. We're on the paper together. Perfect. Call to ask for notes or something, but don't give him anything else. If he's into you, we'll take it from there. If he's not, at least you know, so you can dump him. Direct. Simple. A clear path. Thank you. You're welcome. You. Um, excuse me. Yeah? If you don't mind, I'm wondering... Yeah? Okay, I got close to kind of getting together with a guy. You mean like getting together, getting together? Yeah, but we were interrupted. Shouldn't he be calling me to talk or maybe set up getting together? What was the interruption? Mom, then dad, then mom's boyfriend. Whoa, poor guy. Okay, you definitely have to call him. Really? He might be afraid to call. Thinks you're too much drama. Too much drama. You give him a call, but keep it casual. She's love dance. Give her specific language. Get together? Or hang out? That's better. Ask him to hang out sometime. It'll give him an easy out. If he says yes, meet up at casual, but look hot. I've got a pen if you want to write this down. No, I think I can remember. Thank you. No problem. Anytime. Styrofoam for brains, but they know their stuff. 